Welcome to Cooking with Marijuana. It's Matt, your host. Today's recipe is marijuana-infused coconut oil. Now what that is, is coconut oil. I'm using organic coconut oil, and it's going to be infused with marijuana. And what that does is I let the THC from the marijuana infuse into the coconut oil, and you can use that for cooking other recipes that you want to be medicated. Here's what you're going to need. For this recipe, I'm going to use a half ounce of marijuana shake and about a cup of this organic coconut oil. Some special tools you're going to need for this recipe are a double boiler, some cheesecloth, and some cooking twine. The first step is to get your double boiler set up. You want your water line set so that you can put your top bowl in and just have it barely above the water line. And you want your water just barely boiling. The next step is to add one cup of coconut oil. Now we're going to let that melt. Now that the coconut oil is melting, we're also going to add one cup of water. While the coconut oil is heating, I'm going to prepare the sachet of marijuana. For that, we're going to need the cooking twine. I've got a piece here, uh, two or three feet long, with a small knot tied in one end. Um, got a piece of cheesecloth cut. This is doubled over, and it's about 12 inches by six inches. And then the marijuana. I'm using about a half ounce of uh, marijuana shake. Uh, this shake was uh, donated by uh, Third Street Caregivers in Los Angeles. Uh, thanks very much, guys, uh, Third Street Caregivers, for that. And uh, you can check out the description uh, below for um, a link to their place on weed maps. Uh, and I've ground it up and I've taken out all the large stems um, like that that might stick through and through the cheesecloth. Now we're going to pour that into our cheesecloth into uh, a small size into the middle. Now we're going to need to keep this small enough to fit into our bowl, so you want to concentrate it into a small area. Okay, now we're going to fold this over, uh, much like you might fold a burrito, uh, starting on each end, and turning it one direction, and folding it over, tucking it in, and then rolling it tightly across until we have a small uh, burrito-shaped sachet of marijuana. We're going to then uh, loop the string around this, the cooking twine, through the, through the knot that we formed so that we can tie it off tight. And pulling in the opposite direction, we're going to wrap that around the sachet. And then tie that off on your original knot. Now the coconut oil and the water have combined. The coconut oil is all melted. Our sachet of marijuana has been prepared and we're using metal utensils. Be sure you use metal utensils when dealing with marijuana. Now it's time to just simply add the sachet into the water and coconut oil. You can use your spoon if you want to submerge it down in there. Now you want to make sure to keep an eye on this and let your water just barely keep boiling. That's important, just to barely keep it boiling on the bottom. Even just under boiling is better than too much boiling. Now time is our next friend. We're gonna leave this for several hours, checking on it periodically to make sure that we haven't boiled out the water in our bottom pan or that we're not boiling too strongly. And this is gonna steep and absorb the marijuana for several hours. We'll come back and check, turn it over, and check on the progress. For now, I'm gonna put the lid on it, and I'll check back in a couple of hours. Now we're just gonna check in on our coconut oil here. You'll check it every once in a while and just give it a turn and make sure that everything is submerged. You can see it's already beginning to take on the green tint that uh, will uh, increase as time goes along. Everything's going fine, so we're just going to replace the lid and let that keep going. Okay, it's been about four hours on our extraction. I'm going to call this a uh, cook complete. First step now will be to remove our sachet of marijuana. I'm going to set this aside in a bowl. Now you're going to want to squeeze out 
all of the oil from this sachet that you want, uh, that you can. But uh, because it's really hot right now, um, I want to squeeze out the best part of it, and then I'm going to set it aside. And once it's cooled off, I'm going to use my hands and really wring it out good. Okay, so now we're turning off the heat, and we're going to transfer the oil into another bowl to cool off. So you can see that the oil has taken on a nice green color. It was clear to begin with, and now the green from the marijuana has cooked into it. The next step is going to be to put this entire bowl into your freezer or refrigerator. I'm going to let it cool off, and this is going to let the coconut oil separate out from the water. So I'm going to put this in the freezer now. Now it's been a couple of hours, and our coconut oil and the water have separated completely. You can see that the rusty colored water is at the bottom, and coconut oil with the cannabis inside of it is this top layer here. So now we're just going to punch through this top layer and uh, remove the water and then we can take our uh, remaining uh, coconut oil that's infused with marijuana and put it into a separate container if we like. So I'm going to drain out the water now. Okay, now you can see that our water has drained out, leaving very little sediment and a remaining very pure infusion of the original marijuana and coconut oil. Now that is one way that you can make marijuana infused coconut oil. I'm going to need some uh, recipes to cook uh, this coconut oil with, so please leave a suggestion in the comments below and uh, maybe I'll cook your uh, suggestion for our recipe. Thanks for watching. This is Matt. This has been Cooking with Marijuana. Please hit the like button if you like this video. Please subscribe to Rough House Studios. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.